For this month's data analytics portfolio project, we are building a regional sales dashboard for the sales manager of Hyvee in Iowa. So this is using Google BigQuery to get the data and it's using Power BI to display the data. And there is a lot of different pages and functionality in here. In this project, I wanna cover a couple of key points being the design of the dashboards, how I've got this in from PowerPoint into Power BI, this slicer here, which is a category slicer, how I've made this slicer and how we can slice on different categories, and most importantly, the data. So this data set is a massive data set uh, that Iowa State provides, so it's 18 million rows of data, and it's sitting in Google BigQuery and Google Cloud. So the first thing we need to do is go into Google BigQuery and create create our SQL script that's going to get this out into Power BI. So what I've done in here is I've cleaned up the data, I have rounded the numbers, we're looking at just the set of stores which is Hy-V stores and looking at from 2020. And I have another video where I've taken this out into uh, Power BI using Power Query, but essentially we're just adding the SQL script. Also in the data, we're going to join that with a dates table that we built ourselves, just to give us more flexibility around dates if we need it. For design inspiration for this dashboard, I went to a website called Dribble. I normally start here, look at the designs and try and get some inspiration because I am not an artiste. I went up and found this dashboard here, which is a loop dashboard. I like the colors in this and I like the way they split out the navigation. So first thing I do, went to Canva and I built out a logo. I've then taken this logo into PowerPoint and I have made four slides for the four pages here. And I've just added individual design features for each page just to identify what the page is. When I'm finished with my PowerPoint, I can bring this into Power BI by browsing, selecting a slide I've saved as an SVG, taking the transparency down, and there's my skin for the dashboard. In order to make this design dynamic, I'm gonna insert a shape over each of the navigation items. So you put a shape in here, uh, I'm putting in a rectangle and I'm just going to design this so it just fits over my overview item here. Go down to shape style, take off the fill and I can go down to action here. So I've turned an action on and I'm going down, I'm gonna select the page navigation option here and I'm gonna select a destination. And what this will do is when the shape is clicked on, it'll take you to that page. Similar to how HTML is done, it'll take you to any page that's clicked on. So you wanna replicate this for all the navigation items. Just going through some of the design elements here quickly. These are KPI boxes, very simple. I've got a sum here and I've got a trend axis of date. For the design, I've turned background off and then I've gone into my callout value, changed the font in there a bit, and I've gone into my title, changed the font in there, but also given that a background color so it stands out a little bit. For the text items in product, I've selected a new card visualization, select the first vendor there, and when I select a new product, it'll switch that because there's only one that can be picked. This is my tree map, which I've used on a couple of these pages. There's a drill up and drill down. So I've got vendor category and item in there, and I can drill up and drill down into those. Useful functionality there. And then for a design element, I've just filtered the vendor name to the top eight, just so it doesn't overwhelm the page, because often you see tree maps and there's just too many things in there. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how I've done this category switch slicer, which allows you to have a lot of items on a single page. So for this, I have to go up and change a parameter and this parameter will switch what dimension comes out on this bar chart. So I'm gonna call this sample select and I've got chosen fields here and you can just pull in your fields into your parameter and these will come out on a slicer. So I've got category name, county and item description in here. I create that parameter and you can see I've got a sample select in here. I want to take that sample select item and put it into my bar chart. Now this is dynamic and when I change one, it'll flick the dimension in here. 
All I need to do now is just change the design of this. So in the code, you can change the string that will come out as your sample select. I've just changed those three strings there. And then you can use styling on this just to make it look a lot better. So that's the video for this month. I hope you found that dashboard walkthrough useful. Any questions, ask down below and follow the channel for more data analytics portfolio projects.